everyone. Today I'm going to show you what I do when uh, to hold my lyre. Um, and this is very specific to me. So this is just really what I do and just a tip to get you going. I have two lyres, so sorry that you can't see my face. It took me some time to um, angle the camera right. I only have a webcam, so this is not a highly technical thing, but I'm hoping that it will be a good learning thing. So technical thing is not the main the main topic for us here so as long as you can see what I'm doing and it's gonna help you that is my goal so um, this is my Aklat liar now what I find with the Aklat liar especially when I first got it was how do I hold this thing I am a harpist so I'm used to being able to lean um, the uh, harp onto me um, I also play the guitar and the violin and those ones for me are easy to hold because there's a specific way that you hold them but but with the lyre it was kind of hard because a i didn't know really what you're supposed to do and i couldn't find any resources and what to do and i tried to hold them specific ways but because of the rounded uh bottom it's very slippery um i'm not sure what your harp is like but if it's anything like mine it's very very smooth and slippery so when I'm trying to hold it it just you know keeps slipping away so one of the things that I found helpful for doing this is um, from your local well I call them dollar stores here if you might call it something different but really inexpensive you can get a sheet of the of rubber um, material like this they're like nonstick paddings and they are really helpful because when I put it on my lap it stops it grips um, the liar a little bit and it stops it from moving around so much. Um, I guess my dress are, my dresses are very um, slippery, so that doesn't help at all. But with the mat, as you can see, I'm trying to move it and it's because it's grip, there's grip to it and it's rubber, it stays on much, uh, much more better. Another thing that I found as well is I have this lace here. It's um, it's just an ordinary um, uh, lace. You could um, you could make it out of any fabric. It's quite long, as you can see. I don't need it that long. It's just the way it came. So I haven't I haven't done anything to it. So what I did was I made um, I made I made a little here. I made a little knot right here. I think this used to be a belt for one of my dresses. Um, so I made a knot, as you can see, and I made it as big as long as I need it to be. And it, that length of this will really depend on what's comfortable for you, but I'm gonna show you what I do. So I loop it onto this side of my liar where my hand is going to be. I'm right-handed, so for me, the right hand pretty much plays all of the melody so I would put it on here and my left hand will be playing in the background so now that I have it on here I just I just looped it see you can see right there I just looped it I will put my hand through this here now that I have it there I am I have the string to help support my hand in the back and that just again makes it more stable and it also takes away the fear of I'm gonna drop this thing because it's gonna slide off so um, and it gives me a little bit more um, firmer hold on my liar so that's why I put that there and now I can reach all the strings and I can start playing Oops. so my liar is not tuned right now it's kind of tuned that that sounded okay But this setup allows me to play with both hands. So this is a good way of um, setting up if you are doing the harp, the, uh, harp method or the um, strumming method. Now for the harping method, I find that I have to have, have it like straight up or slightly slanted. You could tune, you could, you could, you could, um, you could turn the lyre a little bit towards you like this. I find this um, really effective for the glide method because of the way the hand moves when you're gliding. You, you, with the gliding method, you, you come down and to the side. 
this way so this this leaning it down a little bit works really well for me also i think if you're a beginner leaning it towards you a little bit will actually really help you because it's easier to see the strings so if you're not familiar with the strings yet and you don't know what the names of the strings on my harp they are sorry on my lyre they they are engraved on there so i could i can read some of them um when i when i lean it towards me and if you don't have um names engraved on your liars i believe most uh, modern liars come with a sticky sticky um sticky things they're the, the little round things and you can put letters on them if they didn't come with letters and just stick them on your liar i find those for beginners really really helpful because it is hard to know which string is which now for my liar i even gone to the point of painting all of my f blue and painting um my c strings with red not not the whole strings just about an inch away from the tuning pegs and as you can see i'll show you um right there that's as far as i went with the blue color and i also um painted the tips with blue and red to show me which is c strings and which ones are f strings and i find that to be really helpful as well so this is my setup um with this one um, with the athlete liar and how I hold it a little bit different with my second liar and I'm going to show you that quickly as well because the neat feature about uh, about this liar this is a bin liar again not all bin liars have this groove right here um, most of them are like the athlete liar where it's very round at the bottom so the way I showed you with the athlete liar would probably be the best way for you to hold those types of liars but with this one here because there is a groove I'm not so concerned a bit about it slipping off it's actually much easier for me to put it right up right up to my my uh, body like this and be able to play it Again, I use I use the gliding method now. That is my preferred method for playing the lyre harp. So the way I set it up is I I, I uh, take it with my um my hand resting right right there, and that's pretty much what supports the lyre. Um, the lyre is not so heavy, so it's not such a strain for me um, to use it. And another trick as well, if if you can tell, I am sitting on a chair that has an armrest and that for me is very helpful because when I am playing this lyre I am not using all of my strength um, and I'm not getting so tired because my arm is like floating in mid-air when I am tired I can lean on um, to the edge of the armrest and have a little bit of a break and be able to play longer so that to me is really good and you can't even see that I'm leaning somewhere um, because you know it's just a very small armrest but it does give you that benefit of having a little bit more support for yourself um, so right now I am leaning my lyre this way again it's a little bit facing towards me so I can see the strings and I can comfortably glide towards the direction that I need to go and I can see the strings I can see the names of the strings and it's easier for me to play this way so this is the way I am set up um, when I'm playing both of my lyres I do still play both of them um, I like I like both of them so and I go I go back and forth but the setup for me um, is really important because if you set yourself up um, properly at the start you'll be able to play so much better if you need um, something more and i'm just going to share this with you because i thought it was really cool if you have something lying around your house that can help this is actually a napkin holder that i have and it's really cool for my athlete harp uh liar harp because i can use it as a stand and i can display my liar harp this is a very inexpensive um um napkin holder 
I don't know where you would find it where you are, but I was fortunate enough that I had this in my kitchen. So sometimes repurposing something that you already have is very, very, very cool. And again, with this, with this one here, the reason I'm showing it to you is because now that I have it, I could actually use it as a stand when I'm playing my lyre because it puts it in a very good angle, a very good see right, right there it's a very good angle for playing the harp and i'm not resting it on my arm anymore or my wrist i can just like right now just play as you can see i still need this hand right here resting um right on the lyre to give it a little bit more stability so it's not too wobbly, but I just thought it was really neat. And, and I even if I don't use it uh, for playing, because right now I am very comfortable with my setup with the map and uh, this string here, it's an awesome thing to have. And now I have a stand and I can display my lyre. So I hope you find this um, tutorial useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please do leave them. I'd like to hear from you. Um, and if you have any tips for me that I can share in future with everyone, I am happy to share those as well. So let me know. Bye.